Most gardeners are told that mulch is non-negotiable. It's one of the first things you learn. If you want healthy soil, you need to cover it up. Mulch is supposed to be the magic blanket that keeps your garden thriving. And for years, I followed that advice to the letter. Straw, wood chips, compost, pick one, spread it thick, and walk away. The idea is simple. Protect the soil from sun, wind, and rain, and let nature do the rest. It's a classic approach, and you'll see it in gardens everywhere, but honestly, I did the opposite. I started to question whether mulch was really the only way to build great soil. What if there was a better, more dynamic method? I replaced mulch entirely, and my soil didn't decline. It improved. My plants looked healthier, the soil was darker and richer, and I started to see more life below the surface than ever before. Here's what I used instead, and why it worked so well. I swapped out the static, layer of mulch for something living, something that could interact with the soil every single day. Traditional mulch protects soil but it's passive. It acts as a shield, but it doesn't do much else until it finally breaks down. It just sits on the surface, waiting to break down. That's useful, but it doesn't actively feed soil life every day. The process is slow, and sometimes the benefits take months or even years to show up. What I used instead was living ground cover. These are plants that grow low and fast, creating a living carpet over the soil. Low-growing, fast-cycling plants that stay rooted, shade the soil, and constantly feed microbes through their roots. They don't just sit there. They're always working, always interacting with the soil ecosystem. Instead of covering my soil with dead material, I covered it with something alive. Here's the key difference. Living covers are dynamic. They grow, photosynthesize, and interact with the soil in real time. Mulch feeds soil when it decomposes. It's a one-way street, organic matter breaks down, and eventually, nutrients are released. Living plants feed soil continuously. Every day, their roots are pumping out compounds that nourish the underground world. Roots leak sugars, called root exudates, into the soil. These exudates are like little packets of energy, fueling the entire soil food web. Those sugars feed bacteria and fungi directly. The result? a thriving, active community of microbes that break down organic matter, cycle nutrients, and build healthy soil structure. Microbes trade nutrients right back to the plant, and the soil structure improves at the same time. It's a living partnership, not just a slow release of nutrients. In beds where I used ground cover, moisture stuck around longer than with straw mulch. The living cover acted like a sponge, holding water in the root zone. Soil stayed cooler in the heat, warmer during cold snaps, and compaction dropped noticeably. The soil was softer, easier to work, and roots could grow deeper. The surface stayed protected, but the biology, underneath, way more active. Earthworms, beetles, and beneficial microbes all flourished under the living cover. Now, I'm not saying mulch is bad. It's just one tool. There are times when mulch is the right choice, especially if you need a quick fix or have a new bed to establish. In high-traffic beds, I still use organic mulch. It's great for paths, around stepping stones, or anywhere you need to suppress weeds and prevent erosion. But, in stable beds, like perennials, long-season veggies, and raised beds, living covers outperform static mulch every time. They create a self-sustaining system that gets better with each season. Some good options are shallow-rooted plants that won't compete heavily. Clover, purslane, sweet alyssum, low-growing herbs, and even some edible greens. These plants are easy to manage and can be cut back or replaced as needed. Or even quick greens harvested young. You can eat your ground cover then replant, keeping the soil covered and productive all year. The goal isn't to crowd the bed, it's about balance. Enough coverage to protect the soil, but not so much that your main crops struggle for space or nutrients. It's to keep roots in the soil at all times. Living roots are the engine of soil health, driving the entire underground ecosystem. Bare soil is an emergency state for microbes. When there are no roots, the soil food web collapses, and beneficial life disappears fast. Living roots turn it back into a functioning system. They restore balance, bring back the microbes, and rebuild soil structure from the ground up. So if your soil feels lifeless, even though it's mulched, this might be why. Try adding living ground cover and watch the transformation happen. If this helped you rethink mulch and soil health, give the video a like, Share it with another gardener and subscribe to Dirt Decoded for soil science made simple. Your garden and your soil will thank you.